Hey everybody, good morning. We're taking a look today at uh, uh, Joshua 18, and we see more of um, how Joshua is is dividing the land of Israel. Um, it's it's a really cool chapter. But one thing I do want to talk about here is down in verse seven. It says, "But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance." Okay, why is it that that out of the twelve tribes of um, Israel? Why is it out of the 12 tribes that the Israelites, I'm sorry, the Levites, get nothing? Why is it that there, God says, but you get just me? You know, it reminds me of that verse where it, it, uh, <coughs> God says, my grace is sufficient. You know, meaning his empowerment, meaning meaning what comes from him is sufficient. And But taking a look at these these Levites, what are the Levites? I mean, why is it that that they get that the Lord is their inheritance? Why is it that they don't get land, and why is it that that they don't get to go and scout and pick a place and and so doing a little research brought me back to Numbers eight, and I'm going to read a couple things from Numbers eight. Okay, this is the duties and the priests of the Levites. Be back here in Numbers eight. I'm going to read from verse five, six, and seven. It says. And you shall attend to the duties of the sanctuary and the duties of the altar. And there may be no more wrath on the children, that there may be no more wrath on the children of Israel. Behold, I myself have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Israel. They are a gift to you, given by the Lord, to do the work of the tabernacle of meeting. Therefore, you and your sons with you, shall attend to your priesthood for everything at the altar and behind the veil, and you shall serve. I give your priesthood to you as a gift for service, but the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Okay. So you see, this is why they don't receive inheritance, because the Israel because the Levites are a gift to Israel from God. Okay? Because they can go to God on behalf of the other tribes. Okay, and this is, a, this is a, we know that communicating with God is a gift. He didn't have to do it, it's a gift. And, and in the Old Testament, this is, this is how the Israelites did it. This is how they talked to God. They would have to go to the, to the Levites, and the Levites, the priests, high priests, would have to go behind the veil and talk to God for people. They would have to be, be included in all the offerings and all that stuff. So they are a gift to the people from God, a gift to Israelite, to Israel from God. Now, what does that mean in today's world? What does that mean in today's world is that since Jesus has come, we no longer have to go to another man to go to God on our behalf. What that means to us is that we get to go to God on our own behalf. What that means to us is that we get to go to God for others as well. Is that we get to go directly to Christ himself. We no longer have to wait to go to an Israel to go to a Levite to do it. We don't have to go to a high priest to get to God. We have access ourselves. If you remember the story of uh, when when Jesus died on the cross, the veil was torn in half. What does that mean? That means that it is useless going to another man to go to God when you can do it yourself. So are you? Do you get to God? This is an awesome, awesome privilege that we have, being able to communicate with, with the one who created the entire universe. It's an awesome, awesome privilege. Do you take advantage of it? Or is it part of your daily life? Please. Get at him. He's ready. He wants to know you. The Lord Jesus Christ wants to have a relationship with you that is different than it was yesterday. But you have to take the steps.
Have a super, super day, guys. I love you all.